question is what is vaginismus? How do we define this condition? Is it a muscle problem? Is this a muscle in spasm? Is it a structural problem in the vagina? What is the condition? Vaginismus is a vagina in panic. It is not a muscle that is locked in place. It is not a physiological or a physical deficiency. It is not a block in the vagina. It is a reaction. It is a reactionary condition. Why would people react like this? Because of fear of penetration, because of fear of pain, because they tried once and it hurt, because they hurt it's going to try. Or as the patient told us today, I was a virgin. I knew it's going to hurt terribly at the beginning. And then it started this whole cycle of pain. So vaginismus is an immediate reaction of our fight or flight nervous system. It tells, I'm afraid of penetration, I'm afraid of pain, I'm afraid of the unknown. It's immediate reaction in the vagina. So what happens is, yes, of course the muscles will get tight. The muscles that sit at the beginning of the vagina, at the opening, they will get tight by activation of the fight or flight response. So we end up with a stiff vaginal opening, or as women say, going in is like hitting a wall, and then it cannot go in. Why is vaginismus so difficult to understand and so difficult to diagnose? And maybe you've been struggling with it and going to different professionals and got different opinions and different ideas about it, but they didn't quite get the gist of it and you realize something is missing here? That's because vaginismus is a psychosomatic condition. Psychosomatic meaning nothing is wrong with the structure of the vagina, but it is nervous. It is a panic in the vagina. Where does that panic come from? How come if you break an ankle or if you uh, pull your, hair, your hand or a finger out of place, it, you don't have panic about it? Because those body parts are not connected to our fight or flight response system. But there are five areas in the body that are connected, are connected to the fight or flight response system in the body. And those parts are the head, the jaw, the neck, the low back, the intestines, and the genitals. And that is unisex, male, female. So when there is a connection that gets established between any of those five body parts and anxiety or, or fear of something, fight or flight response, you end up with a bodily reaction that really has no other explanation to it because everything is healthy in the body. So if we focus on vaginismus, vaginismus is a stress response in the vagina. It's a vagina that activated the stress response or fight or flight unnecessarily or maybe necessarily because you are afraid of pain or you tried and it hurt or you heard it's going to hurt. This is the psychosomatic part of vaginismus. So how do we treat that? Because vaginismus is a psychosomatic condition, many of the suggestions that you may find out there when you read or go to clinicians or do your own internet search about how to fix the condition, that don't really work. What does smoking pot have to do with that? What does just, you don't love him enough, what does get sexually aroused have to do with that? As a matter of fact, many of our patients come to us and say, the other clinician or I read or I tried to just get aroused with my partner or by myself in order to open the vagina. The vagina is fine. The vagina is just reacting to the stress that you have about the penetration. And it's impossible to be stressed and to get aroused. These are two opposing nervous systems in our body. And it, it, it just does not work. There is something very interesting when we treat vaginismus, and our practice has been treating vaginismus for over 30 years, full-time practice, we staff, we, end up, we have seen thousands of women with vaginismus. We really know the condition very well. There's something very interesting when we speak with our patients who come to us either because they never had treatment before or many because all the other interventions fail them. And we talk to them and they talk to us and they explain when we first meet. And it's amazing to listen to stories how much the vagina has become personalized and medicalized 
by other clinicians and other pieces of information on the internet or friends or uh, any other resources people have. The truth of the matter is, and that is one of our fundamental principles of treatment, the truth of the matter is the vagina is a body part that should work automatically, just like urinating, just like swallowing, just like breathing. Cave woman did not have Dr. Google to check out what to do. It just worked. And when cave woman or women through the generations work in the fields, they did not have to sit down, relax their vaginas in order for the vagina to work. They just worked in the field, went home, did whatever they did, had relationship with their male partners, and moved on with the day. The vagina doesn't need work. The vagina does not need work to operate. It is an autopilot. But not so if the fight or flight or the psychosomatic anxiety got activated. Then penetration, or what we call vaginal use, has to be done or restored while diffusing the psychosomatic reaction. Remember, the vagina is fine structurally. It is just in panic.